to Improv GPM. I'm Nabil Coach, your host. Tonight, we have a showcase of local comics competing for laughs from our studio audience and you at home. Whoever gets the most laughs per minute is our winner. And this evening, we get things started with Brian O'Sullivan. Hi, I'm Brian O'Sullivan. Yeah. This is my mic stand. Here's some jokes. <laughs> When I see a business sign that says, everything must go, I take the sign. <laughs> In his song, Never Say Never, Justin Bieber says never. 53 times. I love the Olive Garden, but I would never take a date there. Because when you're there, you're family, and that's gross. <laughs> I went into a mattress store the other day, and there was an employee asleep on one of the beds. Does that make him a bad employee or an excellent salesman? The only time I buy Rembrandt toothpaste is when I am Baroque. <laughs> Sometimes when I start a sentence, I don't know how it's going to chicken. Does Lou Gehrig know what he died of? <laughs> I think the greatest one-hit wonder of all time is the Titanic. <laughs> My favorite Dr. Seuss book is not Horton Hears a Who, it's Hooten Hears a Whore. <laughs> all down comforters are extremely comfortable. That's a blanket statement. I want to get a tattoo of the Japanese symbol for, what does your tattoo mean? These are killing. If A equals B and B equals C, then you just wasted two letters of the alphabet. Also, you can spell cab with one letter. If you love somebody, set them free. If they return, set them on fire. <laughs> if you're deaf, is it rude to talk with your hands full? <laughs> the price of blow-up dolls has increased. I think this is due to inflation. <laughs> By a round of applause, who likes raising their hand? <laughs> Thank you. Here's a love song I wrote. This is a love song this is the most awkward way to stand. That's better. <laughs> this is a love song for a cyclops. I love you. Thank you. Well, let's, let's do another love song. This is a love song for a sheep. Gross. It's a love song. I love you. <laughs> That's a different one. There's a love song I wrote for my friend Courtney. I love. Thank you guys. Yeah. Hey, you jokers at home, you think you can get more laughs out of our audience? Then like our Facebook page and show us a link to your work. You could be on stage next. The laughs are here on KCTV, and you should be too. Advertise your business, reach out to our audience, and start ringing that register now. Yeah.
Okay, I have some ribs. Don't mess with me. I'm eating ribs. Prepare your taste buds for the best grub this side of the Mississippi at the Kansas City Barbecue Company. It's a casual, comfortable location, authentic and original, great for the whole family. The secret to their success is found in the kitchen where meats are seasoned with an exclusive secret blend of spices that are mixed on site. Then meats are hickory smoked for 20 hours to tender perfection. That's right, the meats are smoked for 20 hours before they ever hit your table. Hickory wood is delivered from Oklahoma and meets from the finest ranches for a true Midwestern dining experience. Feast on hot links, beef brisket, pork or burnt end sandwiches served with your choice of sides like homestyle coleslaw or sweet potato fries. Of course, everyone loves the ribs, baby backs or giant beef racks. Ribs with an attitude, great for sharing, tender and tasty to the last bite. Attached to the restaurant is the Kansas City Sports Bar with happy hour drink and appetizer specials, featuring over 70 varieties of beers to choose from. Your favorite microbreweries and some you've never even heard of. Sample them all and enjoy the games on nine flat screens located throughout the establishment. Kansas City Barbecue Company gladly hosts private parties with up to 40 guests, and off-site catering is available for events of any size. The kitchen is open from 11 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. daily, with extended hours available in the sports bar. The best barbecue this side of the Mississippi is waiting for you at the Kansas City Barbecue Company on Magnolia Boulevard. Visit the KansasCityBarbecueCompany.com. On stage next is Jason Renabu! The deal was talking about the 78 uh, virgins that are waiting for the Muslims. Anyone ever to think about, maybe they got the translation mixed up somewhere along the line and it's actually a 78 year old virgin? <laughs> what would that looks like? <laughs> got like one, two? Anyways, uh, I don't want to piss him off. He kicked my ass. He's like twice, twice my size. I'm vertically challenged. I don't know if you guys know. I got too much blood in my alcohol system right now. I can't talk. <laughs> I don't, know if, if, I don't know if you guys recognize me. I do a lot of short films. Um, I was recently on a new show called Are You Taller Than a Fifth Grader? <laughs> I lost <laughs> to a girl in a wheelchair. It sucked. Uh, my uh, least favorite holiday was a couple weeks ago, St. Patty's Day. I hate that. All my friends chased me around with nets. <laughs> Like, make a wish, make a wish! What they don't realize is I'm uh, half Jewish, so I'll sell you a pot of gold. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so much shit. Um, my girlfriend just dumped me recently. Probably for the better, you know? She was one of these girls that was really, uh, what's the word, fat? <laughs> she was huge, you know? Not just a little baby bump like what I got going on. <laughs> this is actually my liver. But um, she was morbidly obese. The girl liked to eat. And she made no bones about it, you know? Usually she didn't even leave the bones, you know? <laughs> I took her to the fair one time, I got her a turkey leg. I look over, the thing's gone in like five seconds. I'm like, where did that thing go? <laughs> she goes, you know the difference between me and you? I was like 185 pounds. <laughs> you know you're an alcoholic when you uh, drink at home alone and you play drinking games by yourself? <laughs> I have a game where I watch TV and every time someone takes a drink, I drink. And it doesn't have to be alcohol. It could be like, like a mother breastfeeding. Like it could be anything. It doesn't matter. Um, I have a game I call when I'm driving and I see someone in front of me driving really bad, swerving all over the place. I try and guess if it's drunk, old, or Asian. And then I pull up next to him and if I'm right, I drink. It's a great game. Um, Let's see, I had to go to the grocery store today to get some, some Advil and stuff. Uh, I hate the grocery store, but the one thing I do like about the grocery store is the self-checkout line. Have you guys done the self-checkout line? It's great, like you got your own space, people aren't right up like inside you. And uh, the, the thing I like the best is like, you don't get judged by the cashier, like the judgmental cashier. Like Sometimes you might just need random purchases, like maybe I needed it, some preparation H, a banana and a teen people. You know, just bag my groceries. Don't give me those eyes, right? 
And then you got homeless Harry everywhere you go, standing outside. I'm sorry, I can't feel sorry for these guys because I've been giving the same guy my extra change for like the last three and a half years. He still doesn't have a house. So it's like, <laughs> I'm starting to think that he's not spending his money wisely. I like to watch the news, you guys. Anyone else have just 13 channels? Yeah, <laughs> Oprah's all repeats. The news is informative. Like today I was watching the news and uh, the newscaster came on and he said, if you guys are planning a vacation, Syria is probably not the place to go right now. <laughs> I was like, thanks, newscaster guy, I was kind of torn. It's like Afghanistan it is. <laughs> you know what else been arrested? Where are my arrested people at, no? I got arrested a few years back and I got convicted. You been arrested, ma'am? Nice, okay, oh, I got four minutes, okay. Um, 20 more minutes, 14 minutes, 14 seconds. I got arrested, guys. And I got convicted because of my mugshot. I tried to look t like too much of a badass with my mugshot. You know what I'm talking about? Have you ever seen these guys? Like, I was like this. <laughs> of course I'm gonna get convicted, you know? Next time I get arrested, I'm gonna treat my mugshot like a headshot. I'm gonna be like this. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I did it, maybe I didn't do it. <laughs> My name is Jason Runderman. Thank you guys. God bless you all. Our comics you. compete for laughs here in the studio, but they are also competing for your laughs at home. Like our Facebook page and tell us who your favorite comic was. Votes are tallied every month and the winner receives a cash prize. So show some love. Shop smart and buy direct from LA Furniture Store. From classic to contemporary, LA Furniture Store offers unbeatable prices on fine Italian made furniture. LA Furniture Store has the largest inventory of Italian designed furniture in America, which means you'll find just what you've been looking for unique designs that are beautiful, practical, and customizable to accommodate any environment. Check our prices. You will be surprised how affordable these designs are. We guarantee to beat any advertised price. Take advantage of floor sample discounts and save up to 70% off LA Furniture Store's already low prices. Check all floor selection online. Hassle-free, professional white glove delivery service and setup. We will ensure your order meets your expectations. LA Furniture Store has four convenient locations to serve you or shop online at LAFurnitureStore.com. That's LAFurnitureStore.com. I'm still Nabil Court, your host, and we'll be back tomorrow night with another Improv GPM.